Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me of Omega and Empire of Japan. So in the last episode uh, we have done quite a lot of things. We managed to destroy a couple of divisions of the Soviet Union in the north. We actually managed to break through in the area of East Bengal. Finally, after sacrificing thousands of men there, uh, we made some progress. And our Marines are currently on their way to attack uh, the Caroline Islands and the Marshall Islands. And I believe also yep, the Bismarck Archipelago. So we're going to see how that's going to go. Uh, it's, you know, an advance as usual. Uh, we get another Yokohama class cruiser. Nice. So let's assign it to drilling. We are starting to have a pretty nice amount of them here. The carriers are still drilling, unfortunately, but that doesn't matter. And our upgrade and the refit uh, campaign in the Navy is going well. We're working on a lot of submarines, just making them better by the day which is really darn nice. I'm trying to save up enough naval experience to uh, get our uh, next level of destroyer, the Kagero, as we discussed last time, but uh, so far, no such luck. Okay, I want to start this episode by actually looking at the war summary. We haven't checked that in a while. And as we're inching closer towards the end of 1944, I think it's important to see where we stand. So our current field of manpower is higher than the one of the Allies, which is just amazing considering, you know, the situation. Our factories, though, it's really hard to estimate. Uh, so we have... Okay, let's call this 2,800, 2,800 factories, and they get about 3,000, uh, 3,600, so their factories are larger than ours, but literally almost all of them are in the United States. Okay, no, that's not true, but, you know, vast majority of them is in the United States. As far as casualties go, we lost 4 million, uh, well, 4.07 million troops, and while the Allies lost 13.5 million troops, and that's not counting the Chinese casualties, which are now, uh, you know, out of uh, the table. Empire of Japan lost a rough 481,000 men. We lost 232,000 to the United States, 165,000 to the Dominion of India, 56,000 to the Soviet Union, and a little bit to Burma and the Commonwealth of Australia. Okay, uh, that is an issue because we're missing here the Chinese casualties. I think it was roughly 300,000 as well. So we're slowly inching toward a million casualties. Manchukuo was 167,000. China about a hundred thousand, CM fifteen thousand. Reich lost nearly two and a half million troops, of which one point seven million to the Soviet Union. Uh, when it comes to the Allies, uh, the United Kingdom and the United States both lost a rough two and a half million troops. Italy managed to score 1.3 million on the United Kingdom, that's just amazing. And 1.2 million by Greater German Reich. So Italians actually scored more casualties on the United Kingdom than the Germans. The United States lost 1.4 million troops to us and nearly 900,000 to Germany. Interesting. India lost about 900,000 men, of which 730,000 was lost to us. Canada lost 200,000 men, most to Germany but and Italy, but some to us as well. And when it comes to Soviet Union, that was 5.27 million troops, 4.4 million to Germany, 
a half a million to Finland and already almost 300,000 to us. So they're not having a good time. Well, okay. Uh, pretty good numbers there. Really deadly. And, you know, quite understandable. It's 1944, so we're doing better. Now, the question is what's going to happen over here. Uh, we have taken the supply up in here, which is going to help us greatly once we connect it. We've eliminated some of the troops over here, but now we're probably going to lose these mountains. Uh, but we might take these ones instead. So we'll see what kind of exchange is going to happen over here. Uh, when it comes to this area, not too much is happening. Our units are advancing though. And when it comes to the Soviets, okay, you guys are going, you guys are going, you guys are going. We're trying to encircle another tank division over here, which is fair. I'm gonna pretend like it's not. But we really need to go towards Novosibirsk, which you know, requires us to actually eliminate all of these divisions here somehow. So an envelopment could happen in here, but it's going to be way brutal uh, or way more brutal than other fights because uh, they are in supply there. Okay, so we can actually now launch an attack here to delay them because we are trying to reinforce these areas. So how are our tanks performing? Well, to be honest, not very well. Yeah, they can't really fight effectively here. Okay, we get the advanced tank radios and we get a Belfast the Blitz. Oh, what's happening here? The German bombers have attacked the northern Irish city of Belfast in three raids, now being called the Belfast Blitz. Approximately 1,000 people have died as a result, with further 1,500 injured. Southern Irish fighters have joined the fray to help their Irish brethren. The Republic's official statement is that the people of Belfast are Irish people too. There's still a lot of fights going on there. Okay, so we have the radios. Let's get the centimetric radar so that we can boost our navy a bit more. So that helps with the radar station, static anti-air hit chance, and construction speed for radar stations. New radar operations in the microwave bands enable us to detect objects too small for previous radars to pick up. I'm fine with that. Two days and one hours, one day and three hours, three days, eight days, six days. Yeah, I'm going to actually lose that. I don't understand why we have only one unit in here defending. That's so bizarre. Okay, so one. 18 hours, one day. Okay, we're gonna try a complete attack here in just a couple of hours. One. It's gonna look like they are about to pass to buy us as much time as possible. It's fairly brutal, not gonna lie. We're not really doing that much damage, but we're covering our units in their advance. So Marines, how did you do? So these islands have been taken. So we can defeat this one. And you guys can't actually advance from me, but you can continue like so. Do we have? Yep, this is still within our zone of control. 
So you've taken this area very easily. So I think doing just that. And you are still going to this area. So that is looking fine. Oh, hello. We actually managed. Nice. So we're managing to hold it. Yeah, a lot of attacks happening everywhere. Yeah, I think it might be fair to try to push in here. The support of you guys. And I think you can... Oh, that's so... Okay, that's not gonna happen then. How did I get all the way over there? Because they still have a lot of units here. And unless we want to do anything there, it's not gonna be that easy. Yep, this is gonna be a bit more reasonable. So we secured this area. You can stop. Fortunately, another good place to attack. I'm afraid they're gonna take it. No, four hours we should be fine. Yeah, okay. So we got it. It's gonna be rough. But I'm pretty certain we can get a ton done here. Okay, so our casualties here weren't useless, and we've done a lot. Because how shall we proceed over here? So let me just break through where we can. So we're trying to get a bit more done. Okay, so nobody is advancing here. What? Why? Why would you do that? Okay, fight the factories. I think that puts us very nicely into a very good place. Yep, yep, yep. So no need to advance with that. We can, however, get some of these done. So hospital to lowest attrition. And I think that is a really good one. So modernizing our tools and equipment will further aid our construction efforts to improve the hospitals. Hospitals are amazing. They save lives. And if there is something that we need to save, it's lives. So we go and take this. Well, I mean, we could encircle you. So let us try that. How's the German offensive going? I think good. <coughs> Pardon me, I just really hope that it's an offensive and not a defensive. Because that would be unfortunate. Especially because I keep saying it's an offensive trade mission. Okay, we're enjoying it. A really good success here. And I even think we might be... Okay. 
eligible for further advance. You guys go in here and you can attack this division here. And again, this one is... No, actually this one is a plains province, so our tanks should excel here, even against the marines. Okay, so you go this way. Actually, no, you can attack here immediately because these guys are really struggling. So if we keep the pressure on, we're gonna keep pushing. Yeah, okay, well, bleeding out, bleeding out severely there. Not gonna pretend like we're not, but we are buying a land with blood. Awesome. Okay, so. Uh, where do we... Okay, this is the mountain army. With you guys still training, this is... Didn't we actually give you a commander? I might have forgotten. Okay, the garrison army. You have the Hoonbear Defense Force, China Defense Force. The Mountaineer army is not supposed to be there, honestly. Uh, these guys should have their own commander, but whom? Okay, I'm gonna get the logistics master, that is just amazing. Or we could just... Yeah, let's actually unite you guys. You're gonna be the... I'm going... Uh... All on bear force. And that frees up an entire area for us here. And while you are wanting on okay, that's wrong. Island Defense Force. So you're gonna be the second island defense force. And you two can move uh where where did we take an area? Okay, you can move here. To Marshall Islands and okay, we still have two of you. Uh, one of you is gonna move to here, and the other one is gonna move. Uh, where's the rest of the marines? Oh, here. To truck. Okay. And the marines can start preparing another invasion. So you guys will move from here to here. You guys... Actually, we're gonna wait here a bit. I'm gonna start preparing it. But... Actually, I'm not gonna execute it yet. And you are aware, you're over here. So if they take this area, you can take this area. Okay, that's gonna retake all the islands that we were fighting for and we lost during our operations in the area and yeah this is going to be wait no supply connection that's a lie it just needs to be connected very soon and we'll be done so another 
uh, another yard is coming to us. Jesus Christ. We're attacking here with the Manchuko forces. I didn't even realize that. So that's fine, this is taking so long. You are coming back. Tank division, not really doing well here, but not much can be done. Improved headquarter company. Very nice. That allows us to get yet another upgrade to the maintenance company, which will give us further plus free reliability bonus. We have been bleeding a lot of equipment, and as you saw, for example, the last level of artillery, or last level of heavy artillery, has a reliability of 33% after all of the upgrades that we invest in it. So it's not like we have, you know, the luxury of ignoring reliability. Okay, so the Soviet Union. Okay, you guys are advancing, that's good. Yes, advanced. Guys can go in here. There is a division here. Okay. Still trying to advance. Good. Good, good. Okay, Tanaka Raizu gained experience. I'm happy about that. So yeah, River, the f main fighting is now on the Indian front. It's kind of interesting. Okay, just joined he joined here. Okay. The Marines are a huge nuisance, but they will not be enough to stop us. Tanks are out of fuel now. Oh well. Kingdom of Syria owns an aggression by. Actually, let us check that situation. They were declared upon by the enemy. They do have a couple of divisions, couple of factories. I don't know, can they even pass through all these deserts? Yeah, probably. But that means the Italians have came in, right? Yep. So that actually opens an entirely new avenue of attack for us. Which, huh, as it turns out, does nothing. Well, okay, either way. Either way, India. So, Victoria over here. Okay, with a bit of luck, I'm gonna actually take that port, which would be just unbelievably good. Okay, sing some Soviet convoys. Oh snap! We lost a Kuretake destroyer here. Oh, that's sad. Either way, we're gonna soon join and do more naval attacks. Get an O commander. Okay, 
Okay. This did not fail. Nor did this. Okay, our scouting fleets are back. We need to upgrade the Vakatakes. Is there anything we could upgrade it to? No, Mutsuki. Minakanza. You could upgrade to the mummies. I actually think we could upgrade the mummy to a 1944 mummy class refit, couldn't we? If we gave you the Type 21 radar, the sonar, uh, but the depth charges. And better targeting. And that's it. That is actually actually really good. So this would be a 1944 Mobi class refit. Okay, let's do that. And the Vakatakas can upgrade to it. Yep, okay, go. Because that is a reasonable thing to do. Look at how that's gonna improve you. Surface detection increased, sub detection, depth charges, hit chances. Amazing, and we'll be able to upgrade the mummies as well after that because they now face the prospect of getting a better equipment. Okay, you guys need to get there and hold it. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a problem, but we'll, we'll manage. Jesus Christ, you got so many carrier bombers. I think we can chill on those. Let's put those factories instead on the medium bombers. And let's put you on the heavy artillery. Because we're doing worse there, actually. Can you hold? Wow. But I think with and with that we know that we will be able to hold it. They won't be able to push us out anymore. So okay, our forces are advancing still. Okay, so you guys need to get in there. Okay, let me just send you in there and you in here. To make sure we do this right. Okay, so the answer command here is going well. I know you stay here. Please advance, you guys. Jesus. Uh, what the? How is going on here? You guys just go. Fights over here are happening. I'm gonna support this. Oh, okay. 
That those are mountains. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, not really doing all that well in here, but this area really should hold. Because we are reinforcing, we're bleeding out organization, but Jesus. Oh, so is the enemy though, so yeah, pretty, pretty harsh fights. Okay, you guys are still drilling. Okay, we get an uh, upgraded. No, this is the regular one, the kind of seven. Okay, I don't know what to do with you. Let me put you on. Okay, <laughs> that uh, yeah, that is definitely broken. That is definitely broken somehow. I don't know what happened there. Let's hope it won't crash the game. Okay, yeah, we got this. That's really good. Okay, we need to reinforce this attack. Just to make sure that it works. We're holding this area. That's just amazing. We can support this attack from here. You will arrive in a couple of hours, which means I can send the tank in here too. And we'll make sure that they are done. Now this area is full in supply, so let me just fully motorize it to make it better. And this is still jungle, okay, that's not great. But eventually I was thinking that would be a good one. Wow, did it finally end? Wow, okay. That's fun. <laughs> I guess when I turned off and on the um, the patrol button or the drill button, they decided uh, to end that. Yeah, look, look at that. We're really bleeding out here. But let me see. Do we are we getting better tanks now? Because we have been producing those for a while now. You still, you still have the Type 93 Kokusans and the Type 92 Osakas. Haven't we moved past that already? I thought we did. No, Type 93 Kokusan is the only one. Okay, so... Oh, and you actually stole some Soviet tanks, T-26s. And yeah, you have the Type 90 F Kenny's. Look at the medium tanks, I love that. Type 97 Chihakai, Type 97 AR, Type 97 BR2Fs and BRFs. Which reminds me, one thing that I forgot. And I'm pretty sure you guys will remind me in the comments that so you guys can get better radios. Okay, so it's gonna be type 98 Tech R. Okay, so let's put this one into production. Convert type 99 can can also upgrade on better radio. Gonna make a really nice difference. Type 99 R can uh, 
Okay, and the Tavnen 7 Chihakai can also become Type 97 R Chihakai with a new radio. And what's the last one? Oh, the Type 95 Heavy. I've never really used that one at all. There wasn't and the reason to could we even make it good if we wanted to type 98 superstructure what's that leaf spring coil spring well I mean it's not bad when you compare it to the Chihakai. Yeah, the armor is the same. Piercing is worse. Soft attack would be better. Defense would be worse. Um, or you could get the external fuel tank. Anything else? Type 97 threat. Oh, that would help a bit, but what's that? Special feature. Good support gun. Nope. Uh, the cannon. I don't know. Can we ever even use heavy tanks? I never ever really checked. Are there any? Type 95 heavy. Yeah, type 5 not at all. He's gonna come, but. Was that a type 95 heavy? The one that we have now, right now? Uh, wait. Yes, yeah, the type 95 heavy. I guess uh, we passed its usefulness. Anyway, you guys are now moving to attack, which is great. You guys are still fighting there. We are pushing on the Soviet Union. So let's end this episode by checking that the Soviet Union is still 85% of its capitulation. So that last 15% just lies over. Jesus. Five. I mean, we could steal Helsinki from at 15. There's Baku, that's 10. No, the metro isn't anything you Jesus. They're gonna fight to the very last man, but... I mean, we can just keep pushing. They can just keep pushing. So, thank you for joining me. See you next time.